Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Study at Ease. So today we are going to look at the division algorithm of polynomials. It states that if p of x and g of x are any two polynomials with g of x not equal to 0, then we can find polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x is equal to g of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x. This is nothing but dividend is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. You have already learned this topic in grade 9. So without wasting much time, let us see how to solve the questions and verify the answers. So the first question says, divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial g of x and find the quotient and the remainder. So the p of x is x cube minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 3. And the g of x, which is the divisor, is x squared minus 2. As always, the dividend is written inside. So here it is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 3. And outside, we're writing the divisor, which is x squared minus 2. So when we're doing the division of a polynomial, we must always keep in our mind that the, the variable with the highest power will be written first. So we follow a descending order. That is the highest power written first, the second highest power written second, and so on till the constants. The next step to be followed is we'll take the first term from the dividend divided by the first term from the divisor. In this question, it is x cubed divided by x squared. So we get x. That x has to be written in the place of the quotient. Now, the next step is to multiply all the terms in the divisor with the x so obtained. So let's see what answer we're going to get. So x squared multiplied by x, we get x cubed. It will be written under like terms. So you'll write right below x cubed. The next term is minus 2, so minus 2 multiplied by x, you will get minus 2x. As I said, you will write under like terms, so you will write under 5x. Now, we are going to change the sign. So, x cubed, it's positive, so we'll put the negative sign, it becomes minus x cubed, and minus 2x, which is a negative term, you will change it to positive, so it becomes plus 2x. So, x cubed minus x cubed, you'll get 0. Then you'll bring down minus 3x squared. Then plus 5x plus 2x will become plus 7x and bring the minus 3 down. Let us continue the same process again. The term with the highest power. So it is minus 3x squared divided by the divisor, that is x squared. So you will get minus 3. So we're going to write the minus 3 in the place of the quotient. Now we're going to multiply the entire divisor with this minus 3. So, minus 3 multiplied by x squared, it becomes minus 3x squared. So, we're going to write it under minus 3x squared. Then, minus 2 multiplied by minus 3, it is plus 6. So, that we're going to write under minus 3. What is the next step? We are going to change the sign. So, minus 3x squared will become plus 3x squared and plus 6 will become minus 6. Now, let us add the equation. So it becomes minus 3x squared plus 3x squared will become 0. Then 7x will be written, will be brought down as it is. Then minus 3 minus 6 will become minus 9. Now that we have got 7x minus 9, which is less than the divisor. So that means we cannot further divide. So on dividing the p of x with the g of x, we obtained the q of x, which is x minus 3, and the remainder r of x, 7x minus 9. Let us move into the second question. So check whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by the first. So this is taken from the NCRT grade 10, chapter 2. So here, t square minus 3, comma, 2, t to the power 4, plus 3, t to the power 3, minus 2, t to the power 2, minus 9, t, minus 12. 
So uh, what we have to do? We have to take the first polynomial and divide the second polynomial using the first and see if it is a factor. Now let us divide it. So we're going to do the long division method. So we have already got the polynomial uh, in such a way that it is in descending order. That is the highest power comes first till the constant. So we write it inside and the divisor will be written outside. Next, what is the first step? We are going to take the first term from the polynomial, from the dividend, which is 2t to the power 4, and we are going to divide with the first term from the divisor. So t, to, uh, t squared, that is 2t to the power 4 divided by t squared, which is equal to 2t to the power 2. So the 2t square so obtained will be written in the place of the quotient. Now what do we do? We multiply the divisor with this 2t square. Let's see how to do it. That is t square multiplied by 2t square. You will get 2t to the power 4, which will be written under 2t to the power 4. Next is minus 3. So minus 3 multiplied by 2t to the power 2. You will get minus 6t square. So that also we write under minus t, 2t square. What is the next step? We have to change the sign. So plus 2t to the power 4 will become minus 2t to the power 4. And minus 6t square will become plus 6t square. Now let us add. So 2t to the power 4 minus 2t to the power 4 will give you 0. Now, 3t to the power 3. We don't have any terms with uh, a t, uh, t cube as a power, so t, uh, 3t cube is brought down. Now, we have minus t square and plus 6t square. So, on adding them, we get 4t square. Next, again, minus 90. We do not have any term with, uh, with the variable t, so we bring minus 90 straight down, even minus 12. Next, we take the 3t cube and divide it by the divisor t square. So the term that we obtained is 3t cube plus 4t square minus 9t minus 12. Now we're going to take again the first term, which is 3t cube. I'm going to divide with the first term from the divisor, which is t square. So 3t cube divided by t square will give us 3t. Again, this 3t will be written in the place of the quotient. Now, what do we do? We're going to multiply the divisor with this 3t. So, it becomes t square multiplied by 3t will give us 3t cube and minus 3 multiplied by 3t will give us minus 9t. We write it in the corresponding places. What is the next step to do? We are going to change the sign. So, plus 3t t cube will become minus 3t cube and minus 9t is going to become plus 9t. Now let us add the terms. On adding, 3t cube plus minus 3t cube gives us 0. Then 4t square, since we don't have any other term with t square, it comes down. Then minus 9t and plus 9t is going to give us 0. And minus 12, since we don't have any other constants, is going to come down. So, we obtained 4t squared minus 12. Now still, the remainder what we got is the power of the remainder is equal to the power of the divisor. So we can further divide it. So we're going to take the first term from the leftover numbers, which is 4t squared divided by the first term from the divisor, which is t squared. So which will give us 4. We are going to write the 4 in the place of the quotient. Now, we are going to again multiply the divisor with this 4. So, it becomes uh, t square multiplied by 4, which will give us 4t square, and minus 3 multiplied by 4 will give us minus 12. The next step is to change the sign. So, plus 4t square will become minus 4t square, and minus 12 is going to become plus. So, 4t square minus 4t square is going to give us 0, and plus 12 and minus 12 is going to give us 0. So since the remainder became 0, we can say that t square minus 3 is a factor of the polynomial 
2t to the power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t squared minus 9t minus 12. So I hope today's topic is clear to you all. If you have any doubts or if you want me to explain any particular topic, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. And if you like my video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next class.